Hello everybody. Today I am going to talk on introduction on compiler and phases of compiler. What is a compiler? A compiler is a special computer program that converts the source code written in a high level language into the target code which is an machine language. Every high level programming language comes with a compiler. Compilation process is a sequence of various phases. There are six phases of compiler. They are lexical analysis, syntax analysis, semantic analysis, intermediate code generation, code optimization and code generation. Each phase takes the input from its previous stage process it and feeds its output to the next phase of compiler. Simple table and error handler are the modules that interact with all the six phases to store the entities and to handle the errors. Phases of the compiler are collected in front end and back end. Front end includes lexical analysis, syntax analysis and semantic analysis. Backend includes intermediate code generation, code optimization and code generation. Frontend analyzes the source program and produces the intermediate code while the backend synthesizes the target program from intermediate code. Now we will see six phases of compiler one by one. Lexical analysis. Lexical analysis is the first phase of compiler. It converts the sequence of characters into sequence of tokens by removing white space and comments in source code. Character sequence forming a token is called lexeme. A program that performs lexical analysis is called scanner or tokenizer. Consider the example position equal to initial plus rate into 60. Here, the characters in assignment statement are grouped into tokens. Position is an identifier, then assignment symbol. Initial is an identifier, then plus sign. Rate is an identif identifier, multiplication sign, then the number 60. Now the statement is grouped into tokens. Blank symbols separating the characters of these tokens are normally eliminated by lexical analysis. Next we will see about syntax analysis. It is the second phase of compiler. It is called hierarchical analysis or parsing. Syntax analyzer or parser takes the input from lexical analyzer in the form of token streams and analyzes it against the production rule to find the errors and generate the parse tree. Usually the grammatical phrases of the source program are represented by parse tree. Consider the rules. We are going to apply this rule to the above statement. Any identifier is an expression. Any number is an expression. If E1 and E2 are expression, then E1 into E2 and E1 plus E2 are expression. Here E means expression. If ident ID is an identifier and E is an expression, then identifier equal to expression. Here the statement position equal to initial plus rate into 60 was represented in parse tree in a hierarchical manner. Now we apply the rules. Look at the picture. By rule 1, identifiers or expression so initial and rate or expression by rule 2 number is an expression so 60 is an expression by rule 3 expression 1 plus expression 2 or expression so initial plus rate into 60 or expression finally Position identifier equal to the whole expression. Expressions are evaluated according to arithmetic precedence. First star, then plus, then equal to. 
so rate into 60 is evaluated then initial plus rate into 60 is evaluated finally the whole statement position equal to initial plus rate into 60 is evaluated semantic analysis in semantic analysis certain checks are performed to ensure that the components of the program fit together meaningfully in semantic analysis type checking is performed type checking is an important component of semantic analysis consider the example here rate is of type real to perform multiplication integer 60 has to be converted to real so extra node is created to specify int to real that explicitly converts integer to real next phase is intermediate code generation after syntax and semantic analysis some compilers generate intermediate code representation of source program intermediate representation have variety of forms here we consider an intermediate form called three address code it is similar to assembly language in which every memory location can act like a register three address code consists of sequence of instruction each of which has at most three operands consider the statement position equal to initial plus rate into 60 would appear in three address code like this consider the first statement here the type checking is performed to 60 so the conversion into to real is stored in temporary variable temp1 next to execute rate into 60 temp1 holds the real value of 60 which is multiply with id3 rate and stored in temp2 then initial identifier id2 is added with temp2 and stored in temp3 to evaluate the expression initial plus rate into 60 finally value in temp3 is moved to identifier according to the rule identifier equal to expression next phase is code optimization code optimization phase improves the intermediate code so the result is faster running machine code here the intermediate code are represented in a better way using two instruction temp1 equal to id3 into 60 id1 equal to id2 plus temp1 here 60 is converted to type real directly at compile time so int2 real operation is eliminated next operation id2 plus temp1 is performed and stored directly in identifier rather than storing in temporary variable so the last statement of intermediate code generation is not needed so these simple optimization can significantly improve the running time of target program the final phase is code generation code generation consists of relocatable machine code or assembly code memory locations are selected for each variable used by a program here the intermediate instructions are translated into sequence of assembly code consider the target code instruction first operand represents source and second operand represent destination f in each instruction represents floating point number here move f id3 comma r2 means rate is an identifier id3 id3 which is moved to register r2 next multiply 60.0 comma r2 here the real constant 60 is multiplied with register r2 which holds rate in next statement identifier id2 is moved to r1 in next statement the register r2 which holds the value of rate into 60 and the register r1 which holds the value of initial 
or added and the result is stored in the register R1. Finally, the result in R1 is moved to identifier 1. Thus, code generation is explained. Thus, the phases of compilers are explained shortly. Please do subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you.